What's up guys, uh, Logomani here with um, a quick little Halo 4, it's not really quick, it's about a 12-13 minute long uh, video. Um, uh, earlier, as you saw today, I posted the, the whole uh, collector's edition box of Halo 4, and then this is going to be my first video of Halo 4, because I was playing around, um, messing around in a big team Infinity Slayer, and um, you guys will be very, this is the Rag Ragnarok map. And it and it looks very familiar. Um, it's basically one of the maps. Uh, not oh, uh, what's that? What's that map called in Halo Three? Can't think of it. Basically, it's a redoing of the ha one of the Halo Three maps. Um, you'll be obviously if you played Halo Three, you'll know right off the bat which one it is. Um, this is big team Infinity Slayer, so. Um, it's kind of weird because I think there's there's some there's some little issues going on with the servers right now because um, like I said I was rank uh, 24 Spartan or Spartan level 24 23 something like that and the game like reset me to one to rank one for a little bit and I was kind of like whoa what's going on here um, so that's why I'm starting off with the AR this isn't my normal class. Uh, th this is just it was just the default class that they put me on which I thought was very odd um, That's like exactly when I first started the match. I was like, whoa, where's my where's my BR? Where's my DMR? Uh, none of that stuff's here uh, But but everything got sorted out um, I have all for some reason randomly in the middle of the match it spawns me with my normal class setup, which was the DMR um, So I thought that was very weird that the game kind of forgot what rank I was for about a good couple minutes um, but basically, I, I've, been, oh, I've been playing Halo 4 nonstop. My hands, my finger, my trigger finger is starting to hurt from all the DMR shots and all the BR shots I've been shooting, um, pulling that trigger left and right. Uh, <laughs> so it's like, uh, but I figured I'd make this video, kind of give you my first impressions. Um, this is obviously, I didn't record this raw. This is off of the file share thing. Um, so it's just off of that. But I love Halo. I, I just have to say I love Halo 4. Um, first day of release, um, it's it's ran pretty smooth for the most part. Although I, I I'm kind of taking a break right now because I think there's something wrong with the servers. Because it keeps like every time I finish a match, it's like giving me like basically no experience, um, and it's doing all this weird like kicking me out of lobbies and stuff. So I'm giving Halo 4 a break right now. I might mess with the single player a little bit. Um, until until like everything gets sorted out on the the server aspect, but I mean that's all right. I've had plenty of time into the multiplayer already. Um, but first things, uh, I guess my first impressions off the bat. Um, all the guns they feel fresh and new, even though I mean we have the assault rifle, we have the DMR, we have the BR, um, the return of the BR actually since we haven't seen that since three um, because it wasn't in reach obviously. Um, and it's kind of like it's kind of like one of those things. Um, my opinion, I I'm not too sure, but I always feel like I feel like the DMR is a lot more powerful than the BR for some reason. I don't know if that's just me, but if I have a BR and someone has a DMR, uh, usually he takes me out. I don't know why. I feel like the DMR is a little bit more powerful than the BR. The assault rifle actually is pretty powerful in this one too. Um, not good at long range. I mean, it does decent medium. It's more of an up close weapon, I would say. Uh, but the assault rifle actually can hold some weight. It's not good for like this kind of map right here, where it's very long scopes, uh, long sights, and everything. You can't really do very well with the assault rifle, even though that's what I unfortunately had to start with at the very beginning. Um, my favorite right here uh, is the sticky detonator. Oh, nastiest thing ever. Um, I didn't do very good with it this map. Uh, but there was like sometimes I literally like there was like a group of guys like down a staircase, shot it down there, blew it up, got three kills. You know, blew them all up. Uh, one match I had that like actually happen twice. Uh, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, uh, it's just every, even though, I mean, yeah, it's Halo, but everything it just feels so fresh and new for some reason. I can't really pinpoint why I feel that way about it, but um, 343 
did a spectacular job with this game's multiplayer. Um, everything's very, very nice. There is a lot of new, um, like obviously everybody has the sprint feature now. Um, yeah, this is where it gives my, it gives me my actual class back right here with the with the BR I have. Um, and and you can you know you can have your you know your special or not your specialization but your your uh, armor ability which I've been rocking um I've been rocking jetpack a lot um I don't know why I kind of like uh, having the jetpack to get to kind of higher scopes or not higher high, not scopes higher places and take out the team from above because that's kind of like what Halo is. If you if you notice on like me playing right here, I'm always I'm I'm on top of that little mound in the middle of the map. I'm always shooting down uh, for the most part on enemies. Because Halo, I mean, if you get top side advantage, you can pretty much dominate everything. If you get that one high spot that nobody can get you to, um, you usually do pretty well. The Magnum uh, in Halo Three or not Halo Three in Halo Four is a lot. I, I I thought they said something about like. I, I don't know, I might be wrong, but I remember someone saying, you know, a developer saying, oh, well, the Magnum's not going to be as powerful as what it was in Reach. Um, they said it was going to be more like a mix between um, the Halo 2 and Halo 3 Magnum. Now, I don't know, the Magnum's pretty powerful. Um, it holds its own very well. Uh, so I do like I do like being able to not feel completely defenseless if I run out of ammo with my VR or, you know, my main weapon. I have the Magnum. And I can do a pretty good job with it. Um, the the one thing I don't I don't know if this is just uh, it's just I don't know if it's because of the game mode that I play. I mostly play just Team Infinity Slayer, um, which I feel like the map. The, I, I, I feel like I'm only playing three maps in that playlist. I don't know if that if those are only three maps available in that playlist. But there's only three maps that I have been playing when I play Team Infinity Slayer, and I don't know if that's just maybe just the server issues where they don't have all the maps in a very good rotation. Um, but I just literally feel like I play the same three maps over and over when I'm playing Team Infinity Slayer. Uh, that's why I switched to Big Team Infinity Slayer because I was like, I need new maps. Hopefully, this new playlist will give me that. Um, Obviously, as you can tell, the graphics, I mean, just by looking at this, I mean, this game is just beautiful. One of the best looking games I've seen on Xbox 360 by far. Um, the textures are really nice. Uh, the graphics are really nice. Uh, detail to the guns, to the characters, to the environments all around you is just very, very in-depth. Um, and it's really nice to see. Uh, the multiplayer does take a 4 gig install, though. Uh, on your hard drive so that is a little bit of a hefty um, take but the payoff is very nice because you get a very fleshed out multiplayer a very good looking game and you only got to sacrifice about four gigs of the hard drive space not a bad trade-off I'll take that any day I think I have like a hundred gigs left on my hard drive anyway so it doesn't really matter to me um, as you notice too the DMR also has I th I'm not too sure if it had it in reach but uh, it has like a range finder kind of thing too had you notice on the yellow thing right there it's pretty neat pretty nifty just a little little thing here and there um the customization in this game is crazy I like how you can customize your character um i really like i really like that they have actual like you know make a custom class because you can have the dmr as your main weapon you can have the vr as your main weapon um i haven't messed I've mostly been sticking with the DMR or the BR as my main weapons. I have one class with the carbine on it, and I, I don't see anybody using the carbine, and I tried to use it one match, and I realized why nobody uses the carbine. Um, it is a very, it's, it's very, it, it's good to take shields down, but that's about it. Because that's, I mean, that's all I could do is take someone's shield down, and that was it. Usually a teammate would come and kill him. I was very upset about that. Um, the whole, they do have, um, I think on this one I have dexterity. And I have um, whatever the one, I 
I can't remember. I have dexterity, which is reload faster, as you can see, uh, on. And then I have... Um, there's one where your shield will regenerate faster um, when it's depleted. Um, so that's a very nice thing to have as well, is that. Um, but there's just there's tons of options. I've used Promethean Vision a little bit. It's kind of a cool thing um, to be able to see enemies through the wall, even if it is for a split couple seconds. Um, the only downside to it is it actually sends a little ping. Uh, when you use it so they kind of they know kind of where you're at and it has like the radius of the Promethean vision that you use so the enemy team can know uh, basically the kind of area that you're in when you use it so it does have a pretty good countermeasure to it so it's not as overpowered as what I thought it was going to be um, but really jetpack and Promethean vision are the only two things I've messed with um, there's just, I mean, there's so much to do. There's so much there and all the spark. I haven't unlocked everything. I've been just having fun with the multiplayer with my jetpack flying around everywhere. Um, jetpack is actually very useful in this match because you'll see it pretty soon, uh, what I do. Uh, it's very useful to have the jetpack in here. But, um, yeah, I'm just really, I'm just glad Halo 4 was a success. Um, I haven't played any of the single player yet. So, I'll have to get on to that. I don't think I'm going to do a playthrough for that on YouTube. Um, if you guys want me to, maybe. But as of right now, don't expect single player videos. Um, just letting you know. Uh, I might do, I might get, you know, some buddies, whatever, and we might do the Spartan Ops stuff. Because those ones might be just little, little bits here and there. Uh, we might do Spartan Ops. Um, but mainly if I load up Halo 4, it's gonna be, oh, there it is. Uh, I'm taking this guy's, uh, <laughs> that was where the jetpack came in handy. Um, but if we do, if we do anything, it's going to be multiplayer Spartan Ops. Um, unless there is a big enough demand, which my channel is really not that big anyways, uh, for single player. Um, or not single player, but maybe even co-op story. You know, just something to do with story, maybe. But as of right now, um, it's just going to be multiplayer and maybe Spartan Ops. So, but, you know, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I, you know, I'm still doing the Silent Hill uh, Let's Play. Still doing the Marvel Ultimate Alliance. And still doing the 007 Legends Let's Play. As well as Halo 4. And Black Ops is literally a week around the corner, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have tons of Black Ops stuff as well coming out. Um, so, if you like any of the videos and whatever, just remember to hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to get updated on more stuff. Alright, we'll see you later.